Bobby Cool Daddy Slick Breeze here from Dynamic Discs. What you're about to watch is a rebroadcast of a live broadcast that we did, which was a demo of the new recruit basket we got in. Um, we did it using a Periscope app. Now, it's not a big, fancy, high quality, but I did it through my iPhone, and I encourage you to go to uh, the iPhone App Store and download Periscope. Follow us on Dynamic Discs on Twitter, and then follow us on Periscope so that you can see some of the future live broadcasts that we do. Anyway, let's get to the demo of the new recruit basket. Four, three, four, yep, they're coming online. All right, hey everybody, we're gonna wait a few minutes to, or a few seconds to see if we can get more people online. We're out here at the Dynamic Distribution Warehouse. Uh, again, we're gonna do a demonstration of the new recruit basket. We just got these in. And uh, after Dixon Jowers uh, gives an explanation of the basket, then we'll do a little Q&A so you guys can ask questions. Uh, okay, well, we're not going to answer those kind of questions, so uh, you don't need to be on if that's what you're interested in. Thanks, so. All right. Uh, so, yeah, like Bobby said, here we are at Candyland in Emporia, Kansas, the Dynamic Disc Warehouse. So, we are, uh, we are releasing this basket. It has come out this week, and I personally think this is the best practice basket on the market, and I think uh, as, as, when this basket starts going out and more and more people get it, that I'm not going to be alone in saying that. So let me show you a few things about the basket that I think makes it uh, unique and special and an incredible value for the price. So number one, the, the first thing you're going to look at, the first thing you're probably going to notice, is that this seems to be a lot of chains for a practice basket, and you're right. Uh, most practice baskets have 18 sets of chains, uh, and they have it on a single layer on the outside. The recruit basket has two sets of 13, so we have 26 total chains, and we have an inner set and an outer set. I don't know if Bobby can get a, a top-down view here, um, but you can see that we have a set hooking up to our inner ring, and we also have a set hooking up to our outer ring. So what this ends up doing is it makes an incredible catching device, even though it's a quote-unquote practice basket. Uh, now, we sell it in two different ways. The first way, you can have a, um, a portable bottom on there with the ring and the wheel, or we can add a, a, an extra uh, pole and a sleeve to the package, and it can, it can be a permanently installed sleeve. Uh, or a permanently installed basket. Uh, now, this basket, it sets up very quickly uh, for this particular configuration. There's only three uh, nuts and bolts that you need to put it together, or excuse me, four. Um, it is a two-part pole here, um, and so what that does is it allows it to break down incredibly well. I know for when I had a permanent basket that had a wheel on it and I would move it around, the hard part about getting it in my car was fitting the pole. I could always fit the basket in the chains, but I couldn't always fit the pole. Um, and so, with this, it breaks down into two pole segments that are less than three feet each, uh, and so it makes for a very portable basket. Um, but uh, the two questions that, that at least I want to know about when it comes to a practice basket is, number one, what's the price? Is this affordable? And then number two, is it going to be worth practicing on? Is it going to be easier for me just to go to my local course because the practice basket I'm going to have uh, is so uh, it's of such a poor quality? My first practice basket that I had at my house, I built myself out of... Um, wire baskets that are made for uh, closets and uh, some plastic chain and it was awful for catching and so I spent about fifty dollars putting that together and then I decided it's not worth it so it was a waste of time this one I think you're gonna spend the money on it and you're going to love that you have it and it's going to last for years and years and years so it's a good basket it's durable it looks nice but more importantly it catches well so I'm gonna step back here and I'm gonna throw some putts and I want you to see that it actually does catch well on, on putts and then also some hard throws as well. So let's come over this way. So hopefully I can hit the putts. Uh, hopefully this is a demonstration of how well it catches and not a demonstration of how bad I'm putting. Whoops. So I'm a spin putter, as you can see, and so generally speaking, my putts come out with a lot of steam on them, and as you can see on this basket, it catches extremely well. Uh, and some of those were high and right, and it still caught them. So here, let me show you one more thing, and then we'll start answering the question. So it's not something that you always do. Uh, with the practice basket, 
but I want to throw a couple in there pretty hard just so you can see that it actually does it. Now I don't recommend uh, when you're trying to get, actually get it in the basket to chuck them this hard from 15 feet, but just so you can see, it'll stick. So I think my claim is confirmed. This basket catches really well, and if you haven't heard the price, $199. This basket for $199, and it is of the same quality as far as catching, and it's the same beautiful piece, and it's going to last, and it's only $200. So, as the questions are coming in, Bobby's going to uh, shoot me a question, and I'll answer it as best I can. So, what questions do you have about the Recruit Basket from Dynamic Discs? What colors? Uh, this is the only color we have right now. So, it's, uh, it's completely black, with the exception of... Uh, the Dynamic Disc logo here on the uh, on the band that comes in white, uh, and the, that logo is on uh, four sides of the basket. Any other questions, guys? How long does assembly typically take? Um, it would take you about uh, two to three minutes once you figure out how to do it. I mean, it's not that you have to figure something out. I mean, you put the uh, chain assembly on the pole, and there's one bolt and nut that goes there. The two poles uh, go together, and so there's a, a nut and a bolt that goes through um, on, on the top and the bottom of it, and there's a nut and a bolt on the bottom where you uh, assemble or where you attach the wheel and the base. Um, so once you line it up and you slide the bolt through, you screw the nut on, it comes with the wrench uh, and the, Allen, the crescent wrench and the Allen wrench that you'll need. It comes in the package with it. So you can tighten it down or you can just finger tighten it either way. Um, but I would say, yeah, I mean, maybe five minutes your first time and anytime you're taking it up, uh, taking it apart or putting it up after that, two to three minutes tops. Uh, some people asked, is it heavy? And then someone asked about the weight. Okay. Um, I went and took this basket and put it on our scale. It comes in right uh, in between 53 and 54 pounds, uh, which is pretty substantial for a practice basket. However, I mean, you see the wheel, it's pretty easy to just get up and, and move around wherever you need to go. Um, so yes, it's got some weight to it, but I think that's a good thing. Um, I'm rarely going to just pick up a basket like this and just going to see how far I can walk with it. Um, that the wheel's a good thing. It was invented by cavemen for a good reason and we're gonna use it. Oh, this is somehow stuck on my belt now. There we go, all right. Um, someone asked about uh, the weight as far as shipping. Um, well, here was a cool thing that I learned uh, on Tuesday from Dynamic Disc because that was one of my questions as well. That uh, okay, this basket's going to be one ninety nine, but we're probably it's going to be like thirty or forty dollars in shipping, right? Nope, free shipping on baskets from Dynamic Discs. So your price out the door plus uh, plus tax, I guess, if you're buying it locally, is one ninety nine ninety nine. Any other questions, guys, for Dixon and the better or the recruit basket? Is that powder coating? Yes, it is. Um, I don't know exactly how to say the word, but it is electro forest first, forested first, and then it is powder coated on top of that. Um, so uh, while it's, it's, we can't guarantee that it's going to last in the ground for 20 years, it's going to last for a very long time um, because of that. Uh, I, I personally am going to get one of these for my backyard. Uh, and so I guess you can come visit me in 10 years and see how well it's sticking up. Uh, but but it's I think it's going to be fantastic. Uh, someone wants to know if we're going to give any away. I don't know. Tell you what, we'll give one away to the first person that gives us $199.99. So if you're that first person, you get it. He laughed. Ha ha. You know uh -huh, what? Right back you know what I tell you guys? <laughs> Go listen to the Disc Golf Answer Man. Go to discgolfanswerman.com. Listen to our podcast, and you never know. Me and Eric might just give away one of these baskets. Any other questions? We'll wait about a minute to see if anybody else has any questions. Well, while we're waiting, I'm just going to keep putting because I don't usually get the opportunity to putt during the middle of the day. So uh, I guess just keep asking questions so I can stay out here and keep playing. Jeremy's looking on, but he can't tell me to stop putting while I'm on camera. <laughs> A nice way to work and play, huh? That's right.
I wish I could say that I'm accurate enough to hit the sides and the corners and make it stick, but really, it just catches that well. One, somebody asked, what are you putting with? Uh, these are pures. I don't normally putt with pures, but I just grabbed a bunch of the stuff that I could out of our testers that was all the same thing. So these are uh, blend pures, maybe? Let me check and see. Uh, no, these are, well, this is a zero hard pure. This is a zero soft pure, so... Um, Yes, they're pures of, of varying hardnesses. All right, last check. Any other questions, guys? Nope, no questions. All right, thanks for tuning in again to this live demo and Q&A with the Recruit Basket. Um, if you don't follow us on Twitter or Periscope, make sure you follow Dynamic Discs so that uh, you will be notified whenever we do any other live demos and Q&As.